Hi, Scott Whitley here. Hope you're doing well and welcome to this brand new video. In this lesson, we're going to look at the second half of Lou Johnson's amazing bass solo from Stomp. If you missed my lesson on the first half, the link is on the screen now. So with that being said, roll that intro. Once again, that short clip was the line that we're looking at today. The whole section is eight bars long. Last week's lesson looked at bars one through four, and this week we're going to look at bars five through eight. And just before we continue, if we haven't met before, my name's Scott Whitley, and I regularly produce content like this to help you become a better bass player. So please hit like, click subscribe, and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you get notified whenever I make a new video. Bar five. <laughs> The first note we're going to play is a low G, third fret on the E string. We slap that, and then we do a left hand slap, and then a muted slap while you're still holding the strings, which sounds like this. And once you get up to speed with that, it sounds like this. We immediately repeat that, but this time adding a second muted slap. And when you put that together, it sounds like this. which faster sounds like. Next up, we're going to play the third fret on the G string and we're going to pull that. That's a minor third. And then we do a left hand slap or mute like this. And then we do a muted slap. So while we're holding the strings lightly, we slap. I recommend doing the muted slap on the A string rather than the E. And that's because almost immediately we're going to slap the A string again. So that sounds like this. Which faster sounds like this. Straight after that, we're going to slap C, third fret on the A string, and then we're going to hammer onto the fifth fret. Then we're going to do a muted slap, then slap an open D, slap an F, third fret on the D string, and then do a hammer onto the fifth fret, a G, on the D string. Sounds like this. which when you get up to speed, sounds like this. And that completes bar five, so let's check it out in its entirety. Which faster sounds like... Bar six. Bar six is completely different to everything we've played so far. And we start off with a muted slap on the D string. Now this can pretty much just be your hand just kind of landed on the strings because the next thing we do is a pull on the fifth fret on the G string and then we do a pull off to the third fret on the G string. And it sounds like this. Which faster sounds like Immediately we repeat that, and when you join those together, it sounds like this. Which at full speed sounds like... Top muting tip, you'll notice I'm using my thumb a lot on the E string, and that really helps stop that sympathetic vibration thing you get going on when you slap it on the higher strings, like this. You can hear it's ringing away and I'm not even touching it. So that stops that. Another technique I employ a lot when doing this kind of thing is I use the fingertips on my left hand to kind of touch the adjacent string. So if I'm playing the D string, I try and get the tips of my fingers, one or more of them, to lightly touch the A string. And that helps the A string not ring out as well. 
And finally, on this particular part of the bass line, I'm using this part of my hand to mute the strings up here. So when I do the muted slaps, rather than just get my thumb to hit the strings, I'm actually allowing my hand to fall on all the strings at once, like this. Back on with the line. After we've played those two pull-off figures, we just add another muted slap, a pull, and a left-hand slap. And when you put that together, it sounds like this. Which faster sounds like... Immediately after that, we slap an open D, and then we slap an F, the third fret, on the D string, and we hammer that on to the fifth fret, the G. Then we do a muted slap, and then we slap an open A, and we slap a C, third fret on the A string, and hammer that on to the fifth fret, D, on the A string. And that sounds like this. And when you get that up to speed, it sounds like this. So if we put that all together, it sounds like this. And at full speed... The story so far, here's bars 5 and 6 together. Which at full speed sounds like... Bar 7! Bar 7 starts with a slapped low G, 3rd fret on the E string, a left hand slap, and a muted slap, which sounds like... and faster. And we follow that with a pull on the 3rd fret on the G string, a left hand slap, two muted slaps, another pull on the 3rd fret on the G string, and then a left hand slap. Right, so one more time, a pull on the 3rd fret on the G string, a left hand slap, two muted slaps, and finally a pull again on the 3rd fret on the G string, and then a left hand slap. So let me play that for you slowly. And faster. And if we put those two sections together, we get... Faster. Next, we play a muted slap on the D string, and then we slap an F, the third fret on the D string, and hammer that on to the fifth fret. And that sounds like this. And at full speed. And to complete bar 7, we do another muted slap on the D string, a muted pull, then we slap the 3rd fret on the D string, the F, and then we use our left hand to hammer on to the 5th fret on the A string. So we're not actually playing the A string at all, we're just going to use enough force to get that note to sound out. Let me go through that one more time. A muted slap on the D string, a muted pull, we slap the F, the 3rd fret on the D string, and then we hammer on the 5th fret on the A string. And that sounds like this. Which faster sounds like... So bar 7 in its entirety sounds like this.
And at full speed, it sounds like this. Now let's hear what bars 5, 6 and 7 sound like all joined together. And full speed. Bar eight. Bar eight starts very similarly to bar seven. We slap a low G, third fret on the E string. We do a left hand slap, and then we do a muted slap, and then we do a pull on the third fret on the G string, a left hand slap, and then a muted slap. And that sounds like this. And faster. Then we do a pull on the third fret on the G string again. This time we hammer it onto the fifth fret. And when we tag that onto what we've just done, it sounds like this. which at full speed sounds like. <sighs> okay guys, you've come a long way and you're probably really hoping that this last part of bar eight is finally a little bit easier. Well, it is, check this out. To finish off bar eight and the entire solo section, we play this. You slap the fifth fret on the E string, the sixth fret on the E string, the third fret on the A string, and the fifth fret on the A string. And that sounds like this. Faster. Just remember to keep those notes nice and short and staccato. You can do that by just lifting off the pressure after you've played the note. And that's it. Let's listen to bar eight in its entirety. And at full speed. And now let's string the whole thing together. And at full speed, it should sound something like this. And all you need to do once you've got that comfortable and under your fingers is tag that onto what we did in lesson one, and you've got the entire solo section from the single version of Stomp. So I'll just play that for you one time through with the backing track. If you want the backing track, the link is on the screen now. It's also in the description below the video. <laughs> Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to download the backing track and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.